In this chapter, we have used direct measurement, triangulation, and geometry to find out how far away things are here on Earth. In the next chapter, we'll use parallax to measure how far away the moon and planets are and triangulate the distance to the sun. We'll take the direct method to measure the extent of the sun's heliosphere and we'll use geometry to determine how far away comets are. The next section is our solar neighborhood. Parallax will take us to the stars in our local neighborhood, such as Alpha Centauri and Wolf 359. Going deeper into the Milky Way, we'll add cephids, supernova, nebula, supergiants, and globular clusters to work our way across the galaxy. A number of these methods drop out as we move into the local group of galaxies around us. As we move further out, only supernova can be relied upon. Also, we move into distances where redshift begins to work. For the furthest reaches of space, we have only redshift.